once again, as you can tell, I've completed the uh, the books. Which, with this whole path to the uh, XP farm being down there, is actually kind of handy. It's kind of like saying, get your experience and enchant it here. But, uh, there is a clip of, I found another spawner, actually. Uh, it's down in the abandoned mine shaft there. I uh, do have a clip. Uh, I guess I'll throw that in here real quick. And okay. So, as you can see, I found a skeleton spawner, which I'm probably just going to set up as, like I said, a lava trap of some sort. Uh, this chest is actually the two chests that was in it, which... Oh, one second. The, uh, the zombie spawner was very loud, so I turned it down. As you can tell, I haven't done anything to define his mouth, but whenever you think about it, animals actually... You know, a lot of them, you don't really see a mouth on them. Because the, uh, the fur on them tends to kind of, you know, yeah. But, uh, as you can see, I've got a bit of a spot lined out. Lined out? Spot, uh, set up here. And I'm sure you could guess by the fact that I had my obsidian on me what I was going to do. Now, my biggest concern is that I'm going to lose track of this place. So what we're going to do is going to open this up, 1830 and 1423, get hit F2. See, I saved a screenshot of that, so that way I know where I'm at. And turn that back off. And we're going to light this. And that's just in case I'm not far enough away from my house that I actually pop out over there. But, uh... Oh, and I enchanted a pick, Unbreaking 3. Which I feel as though I should leave here. And I should probably leave the water buckets. They're not going to do me any good in the nether either. So, oh, I, should, I definitely want to bring the bow. As you can tell, I wasn't exactly prepared. So I'm going to put this in here. I don't need those, and I don't need those. And... I should bring cobble and not bring too much wood. Bring a little bit of wood, a little bit of coal. Put the sandstone and the sand in here. Gravel. Bones. My chests, I'm not gonna lie, they are a complete disaster. They are very, very very disorganized. Did I mention very? But as you can see, you know, like there's some flint in there, but there's also a flint in there. I got cobble in here. And I don't know. I'm gonna. If I pop out of here and I end up at my house, that means I'm within a thousand blocks of it. I believe it's a thousand. Maybe it's 800. In short, if I go into the nether and I pop out in my other house. I'm building a railway. If the two portals aren't close enough to each other for that to happen, I will be very happy. Although, I will probably still need to build a portal in the nether. Uh, doesn't appear to be any signs of life. I'm gonna go through here real quick. Just want to see if I come back out. Yes, I do. Now, the only thing I know for a fact is it should be the way I'm facing when I go in the nether is the way that I'll be facing. So, the reason why I put those there is, in theory, if I were to go that way for however many blocks it is to get back to my other house, I should find my portal and I should be able to link them up. But we're not going to go that way. Because we explored around a bit over in that direction. And we, you know, at the other house. And I don't recall finding a fortress. Which is why I came here. I want to make instant health potions. Found some melon seeds. Apparently I had them in my one chest. And I just had difficulty seeing them apparently. So, but I need... A brewing stand. Oh. Uh, that's 
convenient. That is the definition of convenient. As you can see, the nether brick it is very noticeable. And that's quite obviously a blaze spawning platform. Not entirely sure how I'm going to get up there. There's going to be a lot of digging of this. Brought my arrows. I just need one blaze rod. And I'll probably... I know there's a way to make a blaze farm, but... I haven't quite decided whether or not I want to do that yet. I'm going to have to keep placing torches, because this stuff is so ridiculously dark. With my texture pack, which I've been meaning to do something about. But, uh... Now, it is so ridiculously dark that I can't even actually tell where it is. Uh, good news. I ordered a new headset. As you can, you may or may not know, I believe I've mentioned it before, I'm not using a headset right now. Partly because none of the headsets I've really owned, I, can, uh, I can't really wear them for an extended period of time without them getting kind of painful to wear. Which, hopefully the new ones, uh, you know, doesn't have that issue. Whoa. Hello there, nether fence. And also, um, well, let's put it this way. If you guys have watched Etho's Lab, or at least know of him, um, now, when I'm recording this, he had just put up the video where he had to rebuy his headset because he's broke. Now, ooh. Blazes. Blazer rod? No. Ow. Oh, these bastards. Where are you coming from? Oh, 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 he got me. I got a blazer rod. Which means we can get out of here. However, well, I suppose I could always come back here at any time. Except that this guy has officially just made me mad. Now I'm gonna guess the blaze spawner is up above me. Because... Well, it seems like the logical conclusion... Oh, hey, there's one over there. There's one... Oh. I don't know where he's spawning from. That's kinda odd. I really wish he could he would come over here where I can see him. Hey. 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 Oh. Oh. There we go. Blaze rod. Now well, I'm not gonna get the experience. Well at least I have one blaze rod. I wanted to see if I could get a blaze rod from the people that were around. Now I believe I came up over here. No. Because I had torches placed where I came up, so... Speaking of which, I'm retarded because I managed to walk right past that blaze spawner. But, uh... Oh. You know, a serious problem... With my logic. People who know anything about brewing... Knows that I have forgotten something something very important for brewing which I'm gonna have to come back here at the diamond pick probably because well hopefully I can find main structures of this you know with stairs and stuff because I need nether ward easy excess glowstone in fact, that's pretty much all that's in here. You know, I originally made the glowstone item red, like the item drop red, because I had made glowstone red, and like, yeah, it's glowstone, so I made it kind of glowy, but then somewhere along the line when editing my texture pack, I kind of screwed it up, essentially, and it went back to the white I had before. And right around that time, I was like, well, I don't I don't really think I like the uh, red enough to fix it. So, I left it as white. But I didn't change the items back. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do something about that. 
But uh, 54 glowstone, it's kind of handy. Where am I? No, seriously, where am I? Mm. I believe this is the. What is going on? Okay, whatever. Follow this, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll. This is gonna be kind of pointless if I found a blade spawner, but I can't find any nether wart at all. Uh, that's a blaze spawner. Ooh. Get away from him. I don't want him spawning just yet. Um, hmm. What? Stairs? I didn't make these. Hmm. And it seems to go to nowhere. What an interesting episode. Lots and lots of going to nowhere. More stairs that probably go to nowhere. Little uh, lava light pit. Ooh, stairs down. Oh. See, the good stairs are the kind that have nether wart behind them. But maybe we just need to go farther down in this fortress and we'll meet up with some of those. Hmm. Hmm. It's really dark in here, wouldn't you say? I definitely say. Ah! Here we go. Perfect. Just what I needed. I want to keep looking, although I'm worried I might get lost. Which, in other words, we have 20. Now, I know it's probably going to be cost ineffective whoa, to make instant health potions, but look at it this way. Well, instant health splash potions for killing the zombies and the uh, experience thing, but look at it this way. I've been using stone swords because they don't quite drop perfectly. So, and it's a one-hit go as opposed to needing to waste food bar and all this other random stuff. Because you got to make all the stone swords and you got to waste the food bar. Ooh, this place is a lot more expansive than I had previously expected. I believe I just heard a magma slime. Which... I don't know where he is, and I'm not even entirely sure I know how to get out of here now, but I have 20. Sorry, I had to look again because I'm retarded. I have gold, so I know I'll be able to make the glistering melons. That's not going to be a problem at all. You know, before I could have followed the torches to get out, but now I've pretty much ruined that. Whoa. Theoretically, if I dig straight through this, I'll end up... Yep. That's more or less where I was expecting to end up. Now, if I ever come in here and dissect this entire thing, I will have so much nether brick. What? I haven't been over here. Mostly because I saw more nether wart. And it has a more area behind it. I'm gonna get so lost. The important thing to remember is I came down a very large flight of stairs. Hey, I see that. What? Oh, hi there. Now, if I'm right, you know what? I'm gonna kill him. Why not, right? Blaze rod from him. Oh, yes, there was. Ooh. Oh. Well, I got two blaze rods, so that's two brewing stands, which will make things considerably faster. I'll be able to make six instant health potions at a time, which 
as long as I AFK for a proper duration, will get me, uh, well, basically, oh, crap, it will get me, uh, you know, 650 experience things worth, which, that's, you know, obviously hoping that I know how long to wait, which, they should spawn at a fairly consistent rate, so I should be able to figure that out easy enough, is this the never ending flights of stairs? Yes, it is. Oh, there's where I took some uh, middle out of that. Okay, now I know the way down is... There's a lot of spawners. It's the straight line that I took. But, um, yeah. I was going on about that headset, I think. I don't remember how far I got. Got a little bit distracted by blazes. But, uh, yeah, I got the same headset that Etho had to rebuy, basically, because his broke. But he liked it so much that he uh, bought it again. So I was like, well, if, you know, the sound quality was good and whatnot, and if he thought it was good enough that he rebought it, let me just check on the price here. Amazon had it for $35, and I could get it for free shipping, so I did. So, um, as of recording this video, it should be here anywhere between, like, five to eight days, something like that, but the shipping was free, so... I'd rather get it in five to eight days for free shipping, when I'm not, you know, in that big of a hurry for it then get it in three to five days for eight and a half dollar shipping. I'm sure you can see why I definitely wanted the free shipping over the uh, the regular. So, that was cool. And it's like a neck headset. I I'm gonna just pass on the information that he said. It's a Logitech G330. So, if you want to know what it is, go ahead and look it up. Yes, I hear you. Meow to you too. Algernon. Oh, I want to make sure I don't use up all the nether wart. Um, hmm. Depends on how much I'm going to be in the nether. That I'm going to make a nether wart farm thing. I made a melon farm. I don't know if you saw it when I was running around. But it's right here. I believe. Yeah. I was looking around on the wiki, I was looking at swords to see how many hits there were on any given sword, and why did that stock die? What the heck? Whatever. I have 25 melons. I'm going to take them... Suppose I can make a small brewing area over here in the corner. Now I'm going to need easy access to water. I'm about to do something that's probably going to make somebody cry. There. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is take one of these buckets. I'm going to grab a water source not there just so I can guarantee that there's one there now this will do for now uh crap I forget whether it's smooth stone or cobblestone oops ah cobble good good this makes my life considerably easier and that's this is going to end up being overkill but I figure if I get enough enchanting done it's not really going to matter too much so oh. now what am I doing wrong wait I bet it takes nuggets doesn't it yes it does
Okay, so I'm not going to use anywhere near as much gold as I had thought. To be honest, though, I've been watching so much Ultra Hardcore, I completely forgot what the actual recipe was to make it. I'm a terrible person, I know. There we go. But, uh... I guess somebody driving down the road in a four-wheeler, I think it was. What's the problem with living out in the middle of nowhere? What? That was strange. You know what's really funny about what just happened there? I made three sets of water, uh, bottles of water that are three each, and then I filled them all up, and I have three brewing stands that hold three bottles each. I did that by complete accident. Now, I have been saving a little bit of gunpowder. I suppose I can put this in here. I'm gonna need three gunpowder. There's more over at the, uh, the village I had been working on because those damn bastards would not leave me alone. Oh. Okay. I was going to say something weird's going on here. Glistering melon. I'm just going to throw it in here for now. Now, this will turn into health potions. And then, because health potions kill the undead, I turn them into splash so I can throw it at them. And then, uh... Basically, I will sit and wait, and if I got it right, it's going to take like an hour to like an hour and a half or so. That noise is me cracking my fingers. I do that too much because they tend to get really stiff when sitting at the computer for extended periods of time. And anyhow, here we go. Instant health splash potions. Now, these should kill the zombies just like straight off, no problem. I'm going to bring them down here. Still got all my glowstone on me, which is a bit foolish. And I haven't harvested any of the materials out of... Well, I didn't do it out up there, because I just kind of blocked it off, like, right away. And I still haven't done anything about that. This is the uh, same day of making the spawner, the, the experience farm. Hey, creeper. That's the cool thing about the glass. Just put it there. But as you can see, I made stone swords for killing the zombies, but now we don't need to do that. And I've been getting iron stuff from them. I actually killed them with iron swords that they dropped themselves at first. But, uh... I know that light can seep through, so I'm just gonna... Just kind of screwing with this. So yeah, I got unbreaking. What was it like three or four or something like that? And that's all that was on it. And that was a level fifty enchant. That was like my first. I think that's the first level fifty enchant I've ever done. So how lame is that? Um, I don't have a whole lot of sticks left. But, uh, need to watch, make sure that these guys don't die from the fall. As you can see, they take two hits to kill, so I guess... Ooh, that guy took three. But, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll let, uh... Four-wheeler again. It is ten o'clock at night. Who drives a four-wheeler down the road at ten o'clock at night? Seriously. But, uh, we'll be back with you in, like, five minutes or so, whenever some have gathered up in here. You know, a decent amount, so I don't completely waste it on, like, one. So, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right, we are back. Hopefully you can hear me over the massive zombies. And, uh, it's actually only about two minutes, but as you can tell, 
I don't think my uh, F3 is quite right, because I think there's actually zombies way off in the middle of nowhere. And why does my UI seem so small? Boom. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with large, because auto seems incredibly large. That's good enough, but uh, you just... So you don't even need to really stand back too much. But this is really funny, watch this. If I get close to him, I get bumped back. But, uh, I'm just gonna throw this healing potion straight at them, and they should all die, and all the experience should come flowing out. Oh, yeah. Well, I got an iron sword. Don't really want it. I'm gonna have to start building chests down here to keep a hold of all the iron stuff, and then... Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, as you can see, it works pretty well. It's a little bit slow, it's not a dual spawner. And if I were to light up these areas, it'd probably make its spawn rates a little better. Probably not much, because it, you know, spawns based on just, in general, it just spawns. End of story. Whee! Get rid of these things. So I'm probably gonna go down there, chain a bunch of tools with some 50 now that I can just blow them up. And, uh, yeah, because I'm getting sick of just melting diamonds working on the, uh, the whole village thing. And as long as I get unbreaking on something, I'll be happy. Got quite a bit of iron I need to smelt still, so that's interesting. But, uh,. Me and Algernon are going to bid you farewell for now, and we will see you again in the next episode.